first phase of uh, building anything from copper is uh, make, get your template made up, which I made. Template for butter, this size butterfly. Then what I'm going to do is uh, trace it onto the copper and then cut it out with the aviation snips. You make it in two halves that way there you can have it pretty well uniform. Then once you get finished cutting this rough cutting it all out, then we have to clean it up because it'll be a rough cut. Try not to make the cut too rough, because the rougher you cut it, the more fouling you have to do. Now that the uh, rough cut is complete, it's cut out, now what we have to do is file all the edges to get it smooth because there's a lot of jagged edges from the uh, aviation snips. After you get the rough cut done, now what you have to do is file all the edges and you have a different array of files different shapes and so forth for the different areas. And I always use this, I have a vise and I have a padded vise here, you can put it in without damaging it. All edges are filed clean now. No rough edges all the way around. So the next step, we're going to hammer some definition into the body of the butterfly. Now we want to uh, hammer some eyes make them stand out definition here first we mark where we want to put them Get started here and we have to put some definition into the body here. And start out by putting curves in. That gives you some definition. Oops. It gives you the definition. Next we got to shape the body. Next step we have to um, make up antennae and weld them on. I made a setup and weld them on there. And we use silver solder. Have a set of legs made up. I'm going to weld some on here.
have legs welded up. All the legs are on. Next thing you do is put a hanger piece on here so you can mount it on the wall. Now we're going to put a uh, hanging loop on the piece here. Okay, the hanging loop is on. Now it could be hung on a wall. Next step is we've got to clean it all up so we can do the flame painting. Next step is to flame paint. Getting the colors and designs with the heat the torch. The best thing to do is to work a couple of them at a time to give that a chance to cool. We'll do a different pattern on this one. Jealous if you're getting to go. It's Betsy Spina here on the highway. Casey Musgraves is going to be there, Willie Nelson, and Kenny Rogers. Hey, if you got any cool pictures, be sure to tweet them to us at SXM Highway.
country's gone. Night Train to Georgia concert DVD hit shelves on Tuesday. The disc chronicles Jason's historic concert at the University of Georgia. It gave him a chance to see himself as his fans did. For me, there's always things I look at and go, man, I would have done that different. Or I would have done this different. But overall, I, mean, I think, uh, you know, something like this, it's, that's why it's a lot. You know, it is what it is. And you will catch it. Coverage on her car radio, and it just wasn't coming in. And I didn't want to say anything, but I was thinking, man, if you just had a serious XM radio, you wouldn't have that trouble. If you want to catch any of the football coverage, on NFL Radio. They have it there at Sirius XM Channel 88, and they also have interviews with the coaches and the players. It's a great channel. I'm Bessie Spina. It's Tim McGraw here on the highway. She said her name was a heavy damn name from the side of a family that long ago came over here on a boat from somewhere in Spain. It sounded to me just a little bit strange. I knew it was but I had Felt good on my lips. Well, that gives you the idea of how it's done. I'm gonna keep working it till I think I like it. But that's. Basically flame painting. All the colors are done with the heat, with the torch. A lot of people ask. So I made up this uh, DVD. That way there you can see for yourself. Hope you enjoy it. Because I enjoy it. There we have the finished product. After I put the automotive clear coat on. It gives you an idea what the patterns are.